Hello and welcome to the video for sixth grade for Tuesday, April the 7th. This covers the homework uh, from Monday and um, I'm going to uh, try to work through this as quickly as possible. Um, I'm going to be using a different uh, whiteboard app than I used for the original um, because the one that I was originally using is not cooperating. So um, this will allow me to move things around. So hopefully you'll be able to see a little bit more clearly um, as I'm working on things. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at number two. Um, if we are working uh, with this, we are doing the base times the height. So seven times five is going to give us um, an answer of 35 centimeters squared. Um, if we are doing 4.3, um, times 2.1 that would give us our area for that so I'm going to come and do this out here on the side um, one thing I did notice is it does not let me type uh, with this particular one very easily so um, I apologize for that So it looks like that should be 5.03. Uh, that's not correct. It should be 9.03. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Is this would be an eight and then this should be a nine. Sorry, that makes a lot more sense now. All right, so 9.03 for that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, for this one, we can divide. Um, so that is going to give us uh, 6.3 or 63 divided by nine, which is going to give us an answer of seven. Uh, number eight, if it will now allow me to drag, there we go. Uh, number eight, a parallelogram uh, shaped tile has an area of 48 inches squared. The base uh, measures 12 inches. That should give us a height of four. So I can do 48 divided by 12 uh, to get four. Oops. get to be the uh, trial run for figuring out this particular app. Um, so number one, um, the park is shaped like a parallelogram. It has an area of 1 16th of a mile. The base is 3 eighths of a mile. So we would do uh, 1 16th divided by three eighths, and then we are going to multiply. So we are going to be switching uh, these two parts over. That should give us eight forty eighths, which would reduce down to one sixth of a mile. And number two, if we have 16 equal size square districts, and the side length of each district is four miles. What is the area? So in the um, section, what I suggested um, that you could do was to make a shape that is a square and put 16 smaller squares inside of it. Um, so if you did that, It would look a little bit something like this. And so I have 16 would be squares inside. The side length of each district is four. So this would be four, eight, 12, 16 times 16. 
and that should give us 160 plus 80 is 240, so it should be 256 for that. And that would be miles squared. So those are our answers for today. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, post in the comments in Google Classroom, and I will be happy to uh, give you some additional assistance as needed. Have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow.